Nolagent here at Tin Top Restaurant and Oyster Bar. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our beach travel vlog, we enjoy beach seafood at the Tin Top Restaurant and Oyster Bar on the Gulf Coast in Bon Secours, Alabama. The Tin Top Restaurant and Oyster Bar is located at 6232 Bon Secours Highway, which is about three hours and 183 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Join us for a beach food travel adventure as we explore Gulf Shore style seafood. If you're looking for a great bar experience in the Gulf Coast area, the Tin Top Restaurant and Oyster Bar is a great choice. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So you can see they've got a nice little front dining room area here. And they've got some menu items on the front chalkboard here, along with having some of their daily specials listed right here as well. So you can see they've got quite a nice schedule. Now the big action here is as we look around the outside here at the front, and then we go around and look and see all the other parking there. And then here you can see there's a lot of signs for other seafood markets in the area. And then here's the side of the restaurant. So you can see they've got a nice little space here on the main drag here of this Bon Secours Highway. And here in the rear is more additional parking. Now we're gonna see some of the real magic of this place though as we look around here. So you can see there's a lot of cars here and this is a very popular space. Now they have this nice big outdoor patio space and then as we head on inside, you're gonna see the other marvelous thing about this place. So we're heading on in and you can see this amazing big huge bar they have on the outside back deck patio area. So the majority of seating is actually on the outside. So when the weather's nice, this is definitely a great spot to be out here. It's pretty jam packed today though, as usual, as the weather's pretty nice here. And it's uh, definitely nowhere close to being cold. Now as we head back inside, this is right at the front door again. We can take a little walk towards the back and we can see that front door entrance we were just at. And here we are looking back at some of the other indoor seating. And we can also check out their nice little lawn storage area here. So some good choices. And then they have this tiny little indoor bar and this is where me and my pal Major will be sitting today. So let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have appetizers with crab cake appetizer, steamed royal reds, seafood stuffed mushrooms, sashimi, fried crab claws, tuna dip, sauteed crab claws, coco loco shrimp, pill and eat shrimp, fried green tomatoes, chips and queso, fried pickles, and fried green tomatoes tin top. Then we have soups and salads with seafood gumbo, lobster bisque, Greek salad, Caesar salad, spinach salad, West Indies salad. Then we have oysters on the half shell, steamed, oysters Margaret, oysters Rockefeller, the Dirty Dozen, oysters Ten Top, oysters Fenton. On the next page we have lunch. Ten Top lunch platter, fried or broiled, fried oyster plate, shrimp plate, fish plate, ribeye plate, hamburger steak, chicken plate, shrimp and grits, fish taco, grilled chicken thighs, then we have sides of fresh collard greens, french fries, fried green tomatoes, fried okra, marinated coleslaw, steamed broccoli, seasoned green beans, mashed potatoes, seasoned lima beans with andouille sausage, our side salad. Then we have sandwiches and po' boys with hamburger, the club, grilled Reuben, chicken sandwich, po' boys, tuna po' boy, and muffaletta. Next we have dinner with pan seared tuna, tin top platter fried or broiled, crab cakes dinner, fried oyster dinner, gulf shrimp dinner, grilled shrimp and firecracker sauce, bourbon glazed salmon, shrimp and grits, porterhouse pork chop. Then we have the fresh catch with the options of a seafood topped, a pan seared or pecan encrusted, or fish margaret. Then we have a steamed royal reds dinner, soft shell crabs, seafood stuffed porterhouse pork chop, steamer platter, chicken rockefeller, chicken margaret, 
Then we have steaks with ribeye, butt tender, tender fenton, petit filet, steak carlisle, pasta with shrimp, seafood, or chicken. Then we can add one of the following to any entree with coco loco shrimp or six shrimp fried grilled or blackened, a half pound snow crab legs or six fried oysters. And then the sides with fresh collard greens, fried okra, fried green tomatoes, smoked gouda cheese grits, seasoned lima beans with andouille sausage, marinated coleslaw, wedge or Caesar salad, steamed broccoli, seasoned green beans, french fries, baked potato or loaded baked potato. Then we have sandwiches and po' boy. Start with fries, hamburger, oyster po' boy, shrimp po' boy, fish po' boy, tuna po' boy, desserts, traditional bread pudding, strawberry bread pudding, white chocolate bread pudding, key lime pie, buttermilk chest pie, cream brulee, chocolate raspberry cream brulee, turtle cheesecake, chocolate peanut butter torte, then weekly specials, Wednesday night, all you can eat mullet and or catfish, Friday nights, prime rib. So I attempted to order the oysters tin top, which are baked oysters with house crawfish sauce and topped with Parmesan. They were out of those, so I decided to try what they call an oysters Rockefeller with baked oysters with fresh spinach and topped with Parmesan. Now, unfortunately, this is not the real recipe for oysters Rockefeller. The original creator of Oysters Rockefeller was Antoine's Restaurant in New Orleans, and they do not use spinach in their recipe. So many other places around the world that do a dish they call Oysters Rockefeller are not authentic or accurate because it seems so many of them use spinach, and the original recipe did not and still does not use spinach. So these are what we will call, I guess, a knockoff pseudo oysters Rockefeller. Now, as far as oysters go, these are pretty good oysters and the spinach is okay on them. However, if you ask me, are these as good as Antoine's oyster Rockefeller? I would have to say, no, it's definitely not as good as the one and only original oysters Rockefeller at Antoine's. However, uh, there's nowhere else in the world that I found so far that seems to use the accurate recipe because it's a secret. So everybody else keeps chasing down the spinach pathway when we know that spinach is not the secret ingredient that gives it more of that green color and the original recipe from Antoine. So if you've never had the original recipe, I highly suggest you go and try it. And then you can uh, really have a true comparison of how you like it compared to other versions. Now, plenty of people don't really think the original recipe as uh, being as good as many of the other knockoff versions. So, hey, everybody's got their own unique taste and flavor profiles and different folks like different things. So I know plenty of people that think other versions are way better than Antoine's original, but let's give credit where credit's due. And uh, hey, we gotta tip our hats to Antoine's with uh, originally coming up with a whole concept and idea of Oysters Rockefeller. Now, these are perfectly decent good oysters for what they are. Uh, I still prefer the original myself, though. So, just like I totally destroyed these oysters, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about these oysters. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So, the bill arrived, and the total for this meal was $37.74 before tip. So my pal, the Major, got the seafood gumbo, which has sausage in it. I don't like sausage in my gumbo. And then he also got the cheeseburger with french fries here. So Major, uh, how's that uh, nice uh, burger there? Is it juicy, delicious, tasty? Oh uh, yes, it's very juicy, very delicious, very tasty. You like it? the gumbo, the gumbo is really good too. Yeah, what about the... A gigantic bowl. So well, it's very big. Yeah. What about those french fries? All of, uh, the french fries are really good, so give the place a thumbs up. Just like this channel, thumbs All right. up, smash the subscribe button. Fortunately, I've had enough experience in this area to know that I needed to ask what kind of fish was being served. So on the lunch menu, it was all swai, which is imported Asian catfish. Yuck, don't want any part of that. Fortunately, on the dinner menu, they did have triggerfish available, so that's what I got. Triggerfish is a really enjoyable, light, flaky fish that's really always a pleasure to eat. It has some very nice flavors, and I got it blackened, and so they've done a pretty good job of getting all the seasoning and spice on here. So it's got a really good balance of flavors, and every time I've had trigger fish, it's been really, really a good experience. It really does hurt my feelings that so many restaurants in this area of the Gulf Coast 
and even in New Orleans, have started putting swai on their menu, and the vast majority of them don't tell you that it is an imported Asian catfish. Ooh, a little fried okra for one of my sides, and it looks like it's perfectly fried here. Now for the taste test, and ooh, yeah, good stuff. And then I got some of this delicious broccoli for one of my other sides. It's just a pretty basic steamed broccoli. It's not even uh, seasoned that well, but just the flavor of broccoli alone is pretty darn delicious. Sadly, way too many places just are not informing customers that they're serving swai or some other imported fish. When even in Louisiana, we're supposed to have a law where you're supposed to disclose that. There's some places even in New Orleans that don't disclose what kind of fish you're getting until you actually ask. So when it comes to the realm of seafood, whether that is shrimp, fish, or anything else, always make sure to ask what is the origin of the seafood? What kind of seafood is it specifically if they're not even telling you what kind of fish it is? It's really important to be an informed customer. So just like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this meal. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total for my meal was $36.41 before tip. So thanks so much to everybody at Ten Top Restaurant for the fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially my Patreons. If you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm, then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.